Hey, everybody. We're back with the host of Patriot Act, Hassan Minhaj. Well, congratulations on the new baby. Thank you. Um, what's it like? This is your second child. What's it like to have babies in COVID? So we like we had, under we, under quarantine. We had the baby right as COVID was uh, hitting the states, and we're very lucky. You know, shout outs to Mount Sinai East. Uh, baby boy was born healthy, mm -hmm. um, but it was weird, man. Like seeing you know doctors with like you know just like dishwashing gloves and donated PPE. It was a really Wow, strange thing, and he's he's part of this new generation of kids. That's they're the they're. Do the, they have a name? Because my our kids split between uh, millennial and and Gen Z. I think yes. What what uh, is there a name well, for I this? I hear uh, Stephen. I hear that they're called Gen C. Oh, so the I thought I thought quarantines was the way to go, but they're oh, Gen C. They will eventually be the quarantines. Stephen, mm -hmm. you know there's a war right now. There is. Yeah, between the generations. Who is winning? So so right now, a full-on onslaught. Just it, it's, it's a massacre right now. Um, Gen Z hates my generation, the millennials. OK. For the longest time, there was a big thing between millennials, Gen X, and we all collectively hated the boomers. But right now, my generation, we're getting our asses handed to us. We're getting made fun of our dietary habits. We're getting made fun of our, our love of pop culture and, and, and Harry Potter and 90s uh, television. And um, I'll be honest, a lot of my core demographic has been ripping me a new one in the internet comments. Do you engage? I have. Don't engage. I have engaged. I have engaged. Some, You're outnumbered. I'll tell you what the giveaway is. They'll be like, oh, like that joke is so cringy. And I'm like, really, Brandon? You're unemployed. And I'm like, what am I doing? This guy is nine years old, but I'm not going to take crap from a person who is dunking on me with their older sister's cracked iPhone 6S. So you recently did an episode of Patriot Act uh, calling out Trump for not taking the pandemic seriously. First of all, well spotted. I don't know what the clues were yeah. that, that you, you, you teased out of his behavior. When you talk, when you talk about a unique take, Stephen, I, I would say that one's it was it was just right there. You're not gonna, he picked it up. You're not going to get that anywhere else. That's what you're going to a Patriot Act for. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about this. Tell me about this Trump guy. So what? <laughs> what do? You, what do you make of him holding the rally in Tulsa on Saturday? Look, I think it's it's so interesting. You know, for the longest time, I felt like as a country we've been looking for leadership, and right now we don't really need a president. I think we need a commissioner. I feel like NBA Commissioner Adam Silver's done a great job. He's managed 30 teams better than Trump's managed 50 states. But sure. While everybody's easing things back in, I just kind of find it kind of terrifying that he wants to just full on raw dog that Rona uh, this week. And um, I certainly hope people wear masks. I really- Well, they're, evidently they're gonna give the masks and like hand sanitizer, but they're saying you don't have to use them. It's optional. It's optional. My thing is I think they can make it work if they just rebranded the masks. We have oh, to think okay. of masks because it's become this culture war, but we have to think of masks as bumper stickers for your face. I like it. And just I like put, it. And it, just what, put like, whatever what, you what, want on it. It's like yeah. any recommendations. Um, hydroxychloroquine is the. <laughs> this isn't Netflix. You can't say that on CBS. <laughs> we have a, we have a, okay, alt, alt, alt. 5G causes COVID. Oh, wow. I heard, I heard that. My, the one that I, I really that. like. If I was at the rally, it would, would be Merry Christmas, say it back. <laughs> <laughs> when I used to bag groceries at Safeway, I used to be, I used to bag groceries at Safeway. Oh and there was this one guy like during Christmas, you're supposed to say Merry Christmas. And, and, yeah. and one of our managers, he, he got really mad, yeah. Dexter. And, and, and one time he was just ringing up and I was bagging groceries and he said, Merry Christmas to a young lady. And she didn't say it back. And he goes, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, say it back. And, I, and I've never forgotten that. Wow. To a customer? To a customer. Merry Christmas, say it back. Yeah. <laughs> that's dicey. That's dicey. Yeah, well, that's Hassan, th thanks so much for being here. Um, yeah. Obviously, Merry Christmas. You too. Merry Christmas to you too. Uh, new episodes of Patriot Act with Hassan Minhaj are on Netflix every Sunday. That's every Sunday. Every Sunday. Hassan Minhaj, everybody. Thanks so much for being here, buddy.
We'll be right back with a performance by Jason Isbell and the 400 unit.